When it comes to full size large luxury, when it comes to large luxury, when it comes to large luxury sedans, in the last 10 years, there's been one clear winner over all the other luxury sedans, and that's the Lexus ES. And as we enter into 2023, what are we going to expect and what's going on with all the luxury sedans? Why is it that hands down the Lexus ES is the most sold large luxury sedan? Well, let's talk about it for a second. In 2022, every month, Lexus averaged over 4,000 Lexus ESs sold every single month. Now, in comparison to the, the next down would be the BMW 5 Series, is the next most sold full-size luxury sedan. They average about 1,500 per month. Mercedes-Benz E-Class, next down, 1,400 a month. Audi A6, next down, 500 a month. And then it just goes down from there with the Genesis G80 being next. And all of these cars are selling on average in the fifty to $60,000 price range, where the Lexus ES is forty-one to 51000 And all of those cars, especially the BMW 5 Series and the Mercedes E-Class, depending on what model you get, you can get well over $100,000 on those vehicles. So why is everybody jumping towards the Lexus ES. Well, let's start. It's incredible comfort and reliability, and that's the big piece, because you have three of the top five most sold cars uh, made in Europe, and the next one, uh, other than the Lexus, is going to be made in Korea, and that's the Genesis. Typically, European cars typically are not as reliable as Japanese cars like Lexus and Toyota are typically. They're also significantly more expensive to fix. The labor is more, the parts are more, and people begin to understand this as they own European cars. Now, that's not the only reason. Uh, if we look at just the third quarter of 2022, there was 4,500 BMW 5 Series sold, 3,400 Mercedes E-Class, 1,500 Audi A6s, 920 Genesis G80s, and 10,494 Lexus ESs. Now, what that says, for if you took the Lexus out and you put the next top four most sold luxury sedans and you put them all, large luxury sedans, you put them all in, it's about the same as the Lexus ES. So, Again, let's go back to what is, it's not just the reliability. That is a big piece of it, but it's not just the reliability. Please take a moment, hit that bell and subscribe button to see all of our classic car content. You have the ES250 models. That comes with a 2.5 liter inline four. You have the ES350 models. That comes with a 3.5 liter V6. MSRP on all of them is going to range between 41,000 and 51,000. For that price, the quality that you're getting, if you drive an $80,000 Mercedes E-Class and you drive the top of the line Lexus ES, I think you're gonna find the Lexus ES to be a little bit nicer. Here's why. You have heated, ventilated, 10-way adjustable leather seats, 14-way adjustable driver's seat, and driver's seat cushion extension. You have this stylish wood grain dash with ambient lighting. You have heated leather trimmed steering wheels. You have then a wide range of stereo trim wheel options. And you have power rear sunshade. All of this, even if you go at the top of the line, you're still under the bottom of the line on all these other large luxury sedans and that's really what it comes down to it's not just reliability it's what you're getting for the money if you're in the market for luxury you're gonna have to spend maybe double on the BMW and the Mercedes to get the same as you're getting in the top of the line Lexus ES with all the safety reliability and technology that Lexus and Toyota has to offer and as we enter into 2023, the Lexus ES is going to continue to be the leading contender of large luxury sedans out there. With the next most sold, half, half as many, uh, uh, the next most sold. And the Lexus will continue that pattern because you're going to, again, you're going to get the reliability, 
But in addition to that, you're going to get a $100,000 luxury in the $50,000 range. And that's why people are jumping on it. So any insights you might have on that, definitely put that in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe button. And thank you for watching this episode, Car Classics.